use the source. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to use Stat Crunch to find percents or percentiles uh, rather than using a uh, old-fashioned uh, Z table or normal distribution table that are found in your textbook. In this example, we're going to use ACT scores. Uh, they have a mean of 21.1 and a standard deviation of 5.3. So uh, I'm going to answer these questions below. It says approximately what's percent score below 20 and above 20. And then below it says what percent score between 18 and 25. So if I was to do this, certainly I need to find the z-score for 20. And there it is. It's negative 0.2075. So if I was doing this the old-fashioned way, I would go to a table like this and I would find that negative 0.2075 and in these tables, uh, well the best I can get is negative 0.207 uh, and that gives me an answer of a percent of 0.3936 uh, and in this example that's the probability less than, okay? All right, so that works out fine, but it'd sure be nice to be able to do this in StatCrunch. So to do it in StatCrunch, you go to Stat, Calculators, so all your, so this says tables, that's actually not the tables like we call them in the book. We go to a calculator and normal distribution or the Z distribution, and you can change the mean and standard deviations. So in our example, the mean was 21.1, and the standard deviation was 5.3. I could type 20 in here and hit compute and there you go that would actually tell me the percent less right here. Uh, I suggest not doing that. I suggest always leaving this as 0 and 1 and the reason why is because when you need to get critical values when you hypothesis test um, you want this to be 0 and 1 so I think it's just good practice to leave it that way. Uh, and so let's use the z-score we calculated for 20, so negative uh, 0 0.2075. And there we go. And so here's my graph. It's the percent less, and it's 0.4178. And if I wanted to know the percent greater or the percent above 20, well, it's the same z-score, and I could just flip the sign to be greater, and you can see it shades, and now I get that percent for greater. Uh, so that works out really well. So on the first one, that's a copy of our result from StatCrunch. Uh, so the uh, percent lower than 20 was 41.8 percent roughly, and the percent above is uh, roughly 58.2 percent. Okay, so again, I always suggest finding the z-score and then just using that in the calculator. Now what about between? Well, StatCrunch also does between for us, and we don't have to think very hard about that. So if I want between, well, I can go into StatCrunch. Again, I would use 0 and 1, uh, and I need to know what were my z-scores uh, for those two marks. Well, my z-scores for 18 and 25 were negative 0.5849 and 0.7358. So if I go into StatCrunch, I can go negative 0.5849 and 0.7358, compute, and there it is. And that would tell me the percent between those two marks. And so it looks like 48.98%, so almost 49%. So that's how you use StatCrunch uh, and use the calculator is what they call it uh, rather than using a z-table in your textbook and this is more accurate and so it is more appropriate to do this if since we have this available. And so here's that answer in our PowerPoint here.